Cedra Mayfield tells us how they came upon the deadly discovery. Sheriff's officials say it began with a call for a welfare check after a Bingham Township man became concerned for his wife's safety. He had been at the residence, was unable to get into the residence, and felt that something uh, was going uh, going on at the residence. Detective Sergeant Fritz Sandberg says five deputies responded. On scene, sheriffs forced their way into this home, finding inside 49-year-old Nora Lindsay and her 19-year-old son Craig dead in what they're calling the first murder suicide of the year. The uh, mother died from multiple blunt trauma injury to her head, and the son uh, died from a single self-inflicted gunshot wound. There was a note left at the scene, which assists us in making this determination that this was in fact a homicide suicide. This wasn't the first time police responded to the Lindsay home. This photo was taken January 5th when police arrested Craig after one of several documented domestic disputes. Back in October, he was taken for a mental evaluation. This time, it was too late. The family for the, for the rest of their lives have to live now as, as half of the family. It's sad. It's, it's, it's an awful thing. This man didn't wish to be identified, but says he grew up across the street from the Lindsay's and remembers Nora as a kind-hearted woman. She'd make a practice of uh, bringing cookies to everyone in the neighborhood around Christmas time. Neighbors and friends wondering what could have led to such a violent end for a mother and her son. In Clinton County, Cedra Mayfield, 6 News.